Christmas and are looking forward to the new year. Hopefully it's going to be uh, better than the year we just had. But today's video we're going to be looking at uh, three tools with inside Critter. First one we're going to look at is like a color selection tool. Second one is the magnetic tool and the third one is the bezier tool like a pen tool but in the selection version. Okay as you can see we have these uh, shapes uh, on my screen here. So the first one we're going to go to is this one here with the little uh, eyedropper tool, the similar color selection tool. Uh, so we're going to click on that and you see it gives you this little uh, eyedropper thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select a color, you're just going to click on it. You don't have to draw anything, you're just going to click on it. Okay so we're going to click on this orangey color and let the system uh, calculate. Oh. Let the system uh, calculate what the boundaries are for this color. And what you'll see is it's selected this whole entire orange part, but it's also selected the orange on the opposite side. Okay, so you have to remember that when using this tool, that it will select the color within that layer. So if you've got oranges splattered all over the place in your paintings or drawings, it will select all of it, basically. Okay, so control shift A for that one. Next one we're gonna look at is the magnetic tool. Okay, uh, this one for me is very temperamental. It doesn't always work great. But I'll show you what it is. Okay, we're going to use this square object here uh, for our little show. You see there it's got the little magnetic symbol and all you're going to do is click on points. Okay, so you can click on the four points if you want, you can click on the edges, it's completely up to you. Okay, so you need to make sure you're on the layer that you want to be working on. So I've got this square on its own separate layer right here. I'm gonna click halfway in the middle. And we're gonna click the opposite side. Now if, if some reason for me, this takes a long time for it to process from clicking one point to another. And I think this is purely because it's got to calculate where the edge of the object is Okay, it's got a second one there. We'll go to this corner here. And what it's actually doing is pulling the line towards those pixels. So we're gonna go another one just here. And then I'll come a little bit away and I'll see if it'll show you what I, I'm meaning by it. There we go. You can see there that it's actually pulled the line to this pixel. So right here, you'll see it's pulled the line right in. Same as if I go into this corner now, it's pulled it back towards those pixels. Okay, so I'm gonna finish going around our circle. Right, and you can see here, it's we've got to this point now where we need to connect this spot with this spot. And all you do is click twice, okay? So you're gonna double click and there you go. It's made a selection of that uh, square. So I can press F now, find my fill tool. I want to change it to a blue. I can click on it and it will adjust it to blue. Okay, 
Control Shift A to deselect. And there you go. I now have a blue square. Okay. So we'll zoom out of this one. The next one we're going to look at is the Bezier tool. Now this one's probably for more complicated shapes. Uh, if you want to get like some good accuracy. And all you do is you click on one point and you see it gives you this uh, like spider web type thing. You're going to click on another point. You're going to click and hold. Okay, and you're going to drag it out and you'll see it'll give these two um, arms with little red balls on the end. And this allows you to adjust the curve for your lines. Okay, so we're gonna hold space, move our picture over. So this is it. This is for getting in some like fine details. So we can extend it and all that stuff. I'm just gonna do this roughly. Say I only wanted part of this shaded. I'm gonna go all the way across. There we go. Once we've connected the dots, it gives me this, um, the walking ants to say that it's connected. And I can press F and I can fill that. <clears throat> and there we go. Control Shift A. Actually, I will remove that uh, color. Now the last one I'm going to speak about is like a wand tool, which is the continuous selection tool. And what this does, it allows you to select a single part of an illustration. Okay, so as before when we was using the eyedropper selection, it would select every same color in a layer. So if you had oranges scattered about, it would select all those oranges. What this one does, what this tool does, it selects only the pixels in that area. Okay, and so this is the continuous selection tool. So we've got our orange square here. If I just click on that, there you go. It's only selected that one orange part. It's left the other, other orange part alone. And these two are still on the same layer, see? Okay. Deselect. I'll show you again. This is the color, color selection tool. If I click on there, it will select this one and this one. If you use the one tool, the continuous selection tool, it will only select the area of pixels of that color. Okay. And that's it. I hope this has helped. I hope bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, peace out guys.